ladies and gentlemen, it's a raw ashes apart, deep bizarre. If this is the first video blog you're watching with me, I just got out of prison. And I want to do something better with my life. So I decided to say positive messages to the youth. Stay off drugs. Go to school. And no matter what, always listen to your parents. Vote. And never forget. Ha! <laughs> just kidding. Somebody would see that and think that that's my I first know. video. They have no idea I'm fucking around, right? Okay. I'm going to do a uh, video blog tonight. And there's been many, many requests for um, male-female energy uh, and relationships. And I'm not going to do that tonight. Ah, If we have one of those buttons. ah, Boo! Ah, uh, No, I, I don't want to do it. Okay? So I've, I've said what I've said. Study part one through five. If I'm inspired to talk about it again, I will. However, that is out. All I'm teaching. Whoa, what the right. fuck did I just get stabbed by? If that was a feather, that was like a glass feather. <laughs> that was super sharp. Oh my gosh. Glass Amazing. Feather. Well, great video vlog. Let's keep going. All right, let's do this. All right. Well, it's still going to be about men and women to some degree. The idea, the idea that, and, and this is the wording people use, the grass is greener on the other side. Oh my God, you are such fools to believe this. Mm -hmm. The grass is greener on the other side. Let's start with you, ladies. You are the biggest culprits of, you know culprit? You know what that means? Someone who's guilty of something. You're the biggest culprits of this idea. I just got off the phone with somebody, right? Got a great job, great paying job. Her boss is blah, blah, blah. What are you going to do? You're going to go somewhere else and get another job because that boss is going to be incredible, right? And those co-workers are going to just treat you perfectly. Man, you must have been in such a, such a shitty situation, but you forgot that when you got that job, how fucking happy you were. Remember that? Ladies, you are terrible at this, and I don't blame you. It's your nature. Men, you need to know that's their nature, so you must continuously educate them and get them to kind of see it, right? Oh, this I just pissed off a bunch of feminists or something, right? Or oh, he thinks he's all that. I am all that, okay? I am all that. Yeah. How's that? Fuck off. It's a man's job to educate and guard his woman, her mind, her emotions, and her body. If you want to argue with that, then you're a fool. You understand that? It is a man's job to guard, guide, and protect his woman's mind, her emotions, and her body. And there's no arguing with what I just said. That's what a real man is. Okay? It's part of it. So fuck off. In regards to the grass being greeny on the other side. Okay? The answer is that it actually never is. And I can say that with 100% confidence. It never is. And I'll tell you how this thing works. Wherever you are right now, think about your job. Think about your relationship. Now, I should say this. Sometimes you guys are in very, very, very bad relationships. But those are so extreme that like everyone knows about it. You know that kind of relationship? Like the whole world is like, how the fuck are you with that woman? Or how the fuck are you with that guy? That's obvious. Outside of that, you're dealing with the same exact issues that your neighbor is dealing with. Okay? Like, very similar. If you think about your relationship right now and you think about the problems you have, I guarantee you could walk over to the next door and there will be the same problems there. Okay? Just hidden from you. They're not going to tell you about it. Or if you skip that house, go to the next one, for sure it's there. Okay? In your neighborhood, everyone's sharing fucking similar problems. Okay? So, the grass is not greener on the other side. What you need to do is take a look at where you are and ask yourself this simple question. My first tattoo. Ooh, shoulder, shoulder, shoulders. What does that say? Hannah, what does that say? Create. Creatine, because I use it to get big. Oh <laughs> create. It says create. My first tattoo, my old t-shirt, Manu Tupo. Look at where you are and ask yourself this question, okay? What have you done in the last 48 hours to create, to make something exist, to bring into existence something positive, something joyful, something that you value in your job, in your relationships? in your house, in your life. And then you'll notice something, that when you first enter a job, a relationship, a new activity, when you first enter, your mind is constantly creating things. I mean, you're thinking about it, going to sleep. Remember when you first fell in love with somebody, right? Yeah, let me give you a, a self-gesture for all those people who, oh, he uses subliminal talk when he talks. Fuck you. Have you ever fallen in love with somebody? 
somebody <laughs> handsome. <laughs> Possibly you are watching TV or looking to the computer and his voice started to sound so mesmerizing and you started to notice like his eyes or and do you remember the first time you fell in love with somebody? Okay, thank you. You like that? That's how you do it. So when you first did that, it's like oh, you couldn't wait till that phone text comes through. You can't sleep. You wake up thinking about them. Lunchtime, right? Or you're about to get a job. You're like, oh, I'm so excited. I just got this job. Why? Because you're constantly in your mind creating. <laughs> you guys see the fro -yo? There it is. That's the diet. Oh, hey. <laughs> That's not there. Uh, you're constantly creating the excitement of how it's going to be. Watch this. Of how it's going to be. Ladies, listen to the secret. Hannah, what are you doing? Is this not important information? Of course it is. Then what are you doing? Listening. No, you're not. Listening. No, you're not. Listening. Then what were you doing with your hands? Say it out loud and we'll see if you were listening. Go ahead and say it since you want to argue. What the fuck were you no, doing right now? Listening. Exactly, because you're not listening. So, the ideas of the job, the relationship... It's not the ideas of what it is. It's the ideas in the beginning of how it's going to be. I'm going to show up to work. I'm going to wear this. And lunch, I'll probably eat this. And then I'm going to, I can't wait. So it's how it's going to be. Okay? I'm going to see him. And then we're going to go eat. And then I can't wait till I hang out. And I can't blah, whatever the fuck it is, right? It's how it's going to be. You understand? The creation is always how it's going to be. It's never how it is. Well, this is the secret. This is the whole fucking problem with grass greening on the other side. Grass greening on the other side is, oh, it's going to be like that. It's going to be like that. Because you haven't jumped the fucking fence yet, right? It's going to be this. It's going to be that. And then that guy is not going to treat me like that. And then he's going to buy me this. And then, and then, oh, that girl. It happens to guys. Guys drop beautiful relationships just because they're sex hungry. And they have sex with a brand new girl. And that girl treats him good and, you know, doesn't fucking bitch at him in a while. And he's like, oh, it's so much better over there. Dude, it's not. That pussy is going to get old just like your last pussy is going to get old. The problem is the last pussy that got old, you at least knew about your problems with her. You had been through it. You're not going to start again with some psycho bitch and go through all that shit again? Like that's a problem. Trust me, dude. That is a problem. The longer your relationships are, the more I advise you to stay in them. Like truly. Okay, this is a video blog about relationships. <laughs> Right? I should have just started with that. It would have saved all that beginning. All right. Let's talk about male familiar relationship. <laughs> Uh, the longer you spend in these relationships, it means that they are tested longer. Right? You've been through shit together. And ending it is not the best solution. Again, unless one person is like abusing drugs, abusing you, right? Is a total, complete, lazy fuck. Like, that's different, right? But we're not talking about the extreme. I'm talking about how many relationships have you had or uh, you know of or are you in right now that you're just like, oh, you know, I'm just, I'm so sick of him. I'm so sick of her. Or, you know, I know, I know guys, I know exactly how it is. Some new chick starts, you know, giving you some admiration and talks to you good. Maybe like touches you, sucks your dick a job or something like that, right? And, and then she's texting you and you're all excited. And then you're going to fucking leave your fucking wife or leave your fucking girlfriend for that nasty shit. Some of you have kids too. Grass is not greener on the other side. It's just that when you think about the new girl, you think in futures. You think, I'm going to see her, then we're going to do this and do that. And when you think about your current life, you think in present time. Oh, there she is. She's farting. She's snoring. <laughs> That's gross. If they fart, leave them. <laughs> she, no, she, in present time, look at her. She's this. She's that. She's this. She's nagging. She's complaining. She's not cooking, whatever, right? Boom. So you don't see a positive future with her. You stop creating a positive future. You see the present time shittiness. But with a new relationship, you see a positive future because you want a positive future and you don't even see the present time. Even when you're with each other, you're thinking ahead, right? You think, how do I get into her pants? After you get into her pants, you're thinking, okay, you know, like, am I going to see her tomorrow? You're never there. But after you're with each other for a while, you're there. And then you realize the reality of the situation. Solution, create features. Same thing with your job. You start seeing the promotion. You start seeing you meeting new people, dressing up, all that shit. That's the future. And then you start seeing it as it is in present time. Now, the, the, the real secret is to see it as it is 
and keep creating positive futures. So take a look at something right now. Take a look at your relationships, okay? Take a look at your relationship. And take a moment and create a positive image in the future. Something you can look forward to. You can create it. I have a lot to look forward to, actually. I, I keep creating trips and, and, and situations and, I mean, god damn. But I love that. That's my life. I'm doing it because I want to live good, you know? So create something. Even if it's as simple as, you know, if you're in a relationship, this weekend, I'm going to grab her and we're going to go grab some fucking froyo. That will start to create your relationship. You stop doing that. You fucked up. Okay? If you both do that, then your relationship is going to be much, much better. Same thing for your job, okay? So the grass is only greener on the other side because you imagine, you're not there, you imagine how it's going to be. And then you get there, and for a while it's good, and then it sucks again. And then you look for another fucking yard to jump, and another yard to jump. And then, ladies, then by the time you're, well, where are we at here? Yeah, Really? I, I was just running through my mind some of the women that I know that are like above 30 right now, right? 100%. I can't say 100%. I'm sure I know a lot of girls and I missed somebody. But so everyone that came to my mind right now, everyone that came to my mind right now, right? Above 30 years old as a woman has destroyed her life when it comes to her children and it comes to her past relationship, baby daddy or whatever the fuck it is. And, and that's a sad fucking affair, Right? Because when you turn 40, life is not going to be kind to you. It's just not. So you better secure for yourself right now some type of position, something, so that you can not live with so much fucking anxiety for the rest of your fucking life. If you have a good man, he's honest with you, it's not going to happen, but hell, levels of it, right? Levels of it. You do better to work out the relationship and get that idiot to watch my video blog too. Right? You start evolving, he stays monkey, no good. All right, let's wrap this up. It's a little longer than I wanted. The grass is never greener on the other side. The real, real statement is real simple. It's like this. The grass is greener wherever you water it. You understand? Wherever you water it, that's where the grass is greener. Not on the other side. It just looks that way because you're imagining it all the time. And the power is in your imagination. And the power is in your communication. I keep telling you that. These are the keys that are going to give you ultimate power ultimate relaxation, security, safety, whatever it is you actually seek, take it from a man who's found what he searched for his entire life. Imagination and communication are the keys. And I'm here to help you with your relationships. So let's call this male-female energy, kind of. I don't know, I think it, should, it doesn't have the same spunk as the other ones, because the other ones are like, wah! No, I'm just like, ah! I think I did. Be the best. Fuck the rest. I'm the nation, baby. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm about to go and give me some oh fucking my. yogurt, eh? Hey, I'm about to chill the fuck out. Hey, I remember when I was, hey, you know what I say? Hey, what do you want to do? <laughs>